your bi-weekly love reading from September 1st through the 15th, 2018. I hope you guys are all doing well. Thanks so much for joining me today. I am the Good, the Bad, and the Tarot, here to bring in your bi-weekly love messages and energies. And for your reading today, I've selected three different decks. I'll be using the Modern Spellcasters Tarot by Melanie Marquis right here. I'll be clarifying with the Everyday Oracle, also known as the Vera Isabella Italiana. And at the end of your reading, I'll be pulling a guidance message from the Butterfly Oracle Cards for Life Changes by Doreen Virtue. So if that sounds good, let's go ahead and get started with your reading, Aquarius. And this reading is for all Aquarius suns, moons, risings, Aquariuses on the house cusp. Also, if you have your Venus in Aquarius. Spirit, what are the bi-weekly love messages and energies that you'd like to deliver to Aquarius? From September 1st to the 15th, 2018. What do they need to know regarding their love lives? From September 1st through the 15th, 2018. For all Aquariuses out there that may be watching. Aquarius, Suns, Moons, Risings. Aquarius is on the cusp. And Venus and Aquarius. What do they need to know, Spirit? What are the most important messages and energies that you'd like to deliver to Aquarius? Regarding their love lives, let's do one more. Mm -hmm. Kurt's not wanting to mix here. Alright, I'm going to do one more of that. Here we go. And we're going to look at your current situation. What is helping or hindering you? This is also what might be a challenge for you. What has put you here? Your thoughts and feelings over the next two weeks. Your recent past and your near future. At the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Swords in reverse. Some of you could be dealing with another air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or this is your energy. In general, the King of Swords in reverse can be very cold, demanding. Um, he may be confused as to what the right thing is to do. I typically see the King of Swords reverse as someone who's uh, maybe their own worst enemy. They can also be a mortal enemy or a villain, someone who comes across as verbally abusive. Um, they can be overly aggressive with their words and speech. Um, or this can be someone who is uh, really not having it. They don't, um, they're very, they're very demanding. They're very cold. Um, this can be also someone that is just um, getting rid of people left and right um, with no, with that, with regard for anyone's feelings. Let's see what's underneath that. Oh, I saw the five of pentacles there. Here's your card, the star in reverse, five of pentacles, and the hanged man in reverse. Um, it can be an unwillingness to bend, um, so it, it's sort of an unwillingness to compromise. Um, it could be that you're coming off this way or you're dealing with someone who's like this. Um, being that it's a king, it's likely someone that you know or an aspect of your personality. So let's take a look. Oh, we have another king, the king of cups in reverse. What is put our your challenge? Sorry, your challenge is the Nine of Cups upright. What has put you here? We have the Knight of Wands. Okay, lots of court cards. So we could be dealing with different people or different aspects of your personality. Another king, the King of Pentacles. All right. So so far we have three kings here. I definitely feel like there's more than one person involved here. You could be dealing with. Um, several different uh, masculine energies. I'm seeing water, earth, and air. In the past, you have the two of cups. And in the near future, you have the five of cups. Okay. So let's begin with what I'm seeing in your current situation. Aquarius, you have the king of cups in reverse. And normally, this is um, a happy king. He is someone that um, enjoys, I'm actually seeing this as like a Cancerian or someone that has strong cancer in their chart. When he's um, reversed, you know, this can be someone who is emotionally unavailable. 
they can have intense negative emotions, um, they may be closing themselves off to opportunities to open up to people. This can also be someone that has a drinking problem or um, they may um, hide underneath a cold exterior in order to mask their true feelings. Um, either way, uh, Aquarius, this is coming up in your significator position, so you may want to explore, um, especially if you have a can any cancer in your chart or maybe dealing with a cancerian, um, why, um, why emotionally unavailable? Why so closed off here? Your challenge is the Nine of Cups, so this is wish fulfillment. This is satisfaction. Um, the Nine of Cups says, you know, what is it that you desire? What do you want? Um, because all you have to do is be clear, become clear about your intentions. The universe likes when we place clear orders. So um, you simply need to ask for what you want. I'm seeing that in the challenge position, um, I would read this in reverse. So uh, if you're dealing with a water sign or, or you have you know, any strong Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces in your chart, that may be affected. We do have a full moon coming up, so there could be some residual energies going into September from that full moon in Pisces on the 26th. But I'm really feeling here, someone here is very unsatisfied. Someone here feels like, um, you know, they have an itch that they need to scratch, but it's not being scratched. Or someone here is um, very resentful, uh, feels very jealous, um, arrogant, um, unsatisfied or dissatisfied emotionally, and they may be hiding behind kind of an emotionally unavailable exterior or possibly even using substances to drown out those negative feelings or to kind of um, ameliorate um, some of the more negative feelings that they may be going through because maybe it's difficult to admit, um, difficult to process. I'm not saying that that's an excuse, but that's what I'm seeing with the Nine of Cups in reverse. It can indicate hedonism, indulging too much, um, even indulging in your own negative feelings or indulging in um, substances, specifically uh, liquid substances. Okay, what has put you here? We have a Knight of Wands. So some of you could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. This can also be an aspect of your personality. Now the Knight of Wands is someone um, who could be a traveler. They may be someone who's in and out very quickly. Um, it seems like they're here today, gone tomorrow. It's kind of a flash in the pan type of energy. This is someone, <coughs> excuse me, very adventurous. I'm getting that this person is a smoker for some reason or they like to smoke a lot, so just watch out for that. This is like a crazy person, it's someone who um, they, they may have rapidly changing moods. They may feel, um, you know, they're just a, they're a huge go-getter. Um, I'm actually getting, my Knight of Wands, um, for me, usually is an Aries male or a Sag male. So, you could be dealing with an Aries or a Sag male who is like this. And you may be, um, it could be that they, they've brought some news to you or, um, they're um, really excited about something. Um, it feels like there could be some jealousy, envy, or resentment going on in this picture. And in the past, you have the Two of Cups. So I'm definitely seeing a soulmate connection here. I'm seeing that you love someone very much. Um, now this can be a same-sex relationship, or it doesn't. It doesn't have to be. I'm definitely seeing um, three different male energies coming up. Actually, four if I count the Nine of Wands. So, um, this can be someone that has a lot of options or someone that likes to, um, uh, may have lots of different relationships, but they're not really, in, they're not really open to, um, commitment right now because they're dealing with some really negative feelings and they, they may be using substances to have, to help those, um, to help deal with that. Um, but I do see a soulmate connection here. I'm seeing you love someone very much. They love you. There's definitely um, a strong attraction and, and chemistry here that I'm seeing in the past. Okay, so that's good. That's good. I just we need to figure out what what is um, what is what is stopping the flow of positive emotions here. 
what needs to be expressed that's not being expressed. In terms of your thoughts and feelings, we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So this can be another person that you're thinking about or an aspect of your personality. Now I'll just briefly describe what I'm seeing. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse can be very materialistic. They are very greedy. They put more emphasis on um, how much they earn versus how good they feel. Um, this can also be someone that works too much. They can be a workaholic. Um, they can also be someone who is a two-timer, um, who's cheating or lying. I'm also seeing the King of Pentacles in reverse can be someone who's holding a grudge or is very possessive. And they can be possessive of things. Um, anything that belongs to them, it's, it's considered theirs. That includes people. So they can be very greedy, they can be very possessive, and again, they may be overemphasizing work above all else, especially when it comes to their own emotional and spiritual health. So ask if what you're doing fills your pockets but empties your heart, you know. Going into the future, we have the Five of Cups. So I'm seeing, you know, cups spilled here, wine spilled. Um, this is spilled emotion, so this is grief, sadness, definitely a loss here. And I see that you still have this soulmate connection, but I feel that you're contemplating, you know, also making some kind of sacrifice here. So it could be that you've had to, um, maybe there's a loss in a friendship here. It could also be that you're going through something really difficult right now. He has his back to the whole reading. so. It seems that you're really focused on just what you've lost, not what you have. So again, the the caution here is not to you know cry over spilt milk, to really um, focus on the good things that you have going on for you. So we have so many core cards here coming up in your reading. Um, I'm going to have to define and clarify uh, some of them. I'll start with the the King of Cups here in the center of the reading. Spirit, who is this King of Cups in reverse? What is this energy? Who and what is this energy of this King of Cups in reverse? Again, I'm sorry if there's any sound in the background. Who is this King of Cups in reverse? Aquarius is reading. Domestico. So this can be a helper, an employee, or a collaborator. So this may actually not be you. This can be a third party, someone that you work with, uh, someone that, you know, maybe does have feelings for you, but they're not being very sincere about them, or they have, they're emotionally unavailable when it comes to being in a relationship with you. Um, let's see, the Knight of Wands here. Who is this Knight of Wands? I was getting Cancer here, so some of you could be involved with a Cancer, could be Pisces or Scorpio. Nine of Wands, we have the Fortuna, the Conversation, and the Nuptials. So if this is a fire sign here, I'm seeing if this, this person has a, a positive turn, an unexpected event happened to them, and it seems like it's for the best. It, it brings in a dialogue. There is friendly conversation here. And I'm seeing that that conversation leads to, you know, forming some kind of solid bond, union, or alliance. Now, this can even be a business alliance, um, but I'm seeing that um, this is definitely someone that, that has come in to talk to you, and it seems that they, they do want to be with you, and nuptials to me is similar to the Two of Cups, so this can be a fire sign in your life. Um, so... Yeah, I, I'm just not sure what the the intense negative feelings are about. Um, something is not being expressed here, but there is someone here that does love you, and um, there seems to be some friendly dialogue between you two, as well as some kind of union or alliance. Now, let's talk about the, let's clarify the King of Pentacles coming up in reverse for Aquarius. Who is this King of Pentacles? 
Who is this King of Pentacles in reverse? And Aquarius' his thoughts and feelings. Who is this King of Pentacles in reverse? Okay, this one wanted to come up. The Lover. So this could be a shy woman who hides her feelings. Um, it can be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn female. It doesn't really... The gender doesn't matter as much as this is someone that has feelings for you or you have feelings for them, but not able to express those feelings. Okay, so... Um, again, sorry about the, the sound in the background here. It seems that there could be a situation here with someone that you work with. Um, I'm sensing that there's definitely more than one person involved, okay? Um, either it's a water sign or an earth sign. I'm getting fire sign and I'm also seeing air sign. So basically all the different signs. So it seems that Aquarius is probably already in a relationship or is already um, in a soulmate union with someone, but there could be something going on outside of that situation, potentially. Um, or someone is holding back their feelings. They're not able to express their feelings. That's what I'm seeing. And that, that could be what's causing the sadness here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, call on the Butterfly Oracle here for some guidance for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? Please help guide them on their high spiritual path in love and in light. For Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? Please help guide them. Sentimental feelings. Okay. Let's see if it's positive. Let's go ahead and talk about these sentimental feelings here. I'm just going to put the card right there. We have a monarch butterfly. A beautiful monarch butterfly. There's something from your past, Aquarius, that is attracting your attention. This card is asking you to explore old and deep feelings as a way of opening and healing your heart. Perhaps you've located an item that brings back memories. Use those memories and feelings as a pathway to explore emotions you may not have processed previously. Oh my gosh. I'm definitely, I was definitely picking something like that up. Yeah, because with the King of Cups in reverse, it's kind of like a stifled, it's like something that you're not wanting to feel or process, so you're closed off emotionally. Now is a perfect time to work on unhealed situations from the past so that you can resolve them and move on. Having guidance from a therapist or support group can help you face feelings that seem intimidating. Ultimately, you will come to recognize but there was nothing to fear at all. This process will lead you to let go of heavy weights you didn't realize you were carrying so that you can enjoy your life and move forward fearlessly. Uh, additional meanings, recovering a lost sentimental object, creating a scrapbook, writing your memoirs, paying tribute to a loved one, collecting vintage items. Okay. So something from your past is attracting your attention. Explore old and deep feelings as a way of opening and healing your heart. It could be that um, someone from your past has come back or something from your past has come back. And it's asking you to really go back and delve into that and try and understand, you know, what are the feelings that are coming up? And just sit with those feelings. Just let yourself feel that. It could be a good time to keep a journal. Um, if you are into CBD, um, or CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy, 
it would be a good time possibly to sit down with someone like a board certified um, psychologist, uh, LCSW licensed social worker or someone like that who can help you process some of those feelings. It may be helpful to bring that thing in if it was a photograph or um, maybe it was some music you heard or something like that from the past coming back, bringing up these sentimental feelings. Um, you, your automatic, um, the automatic um, thing that you do may be to just shut down emotionally or to possibly, some of you may turn to drinking or do other things that may not be as healthy, but the most important thing is to process those feelings. What is it that's coming up? What needs to be addressed? so that you can release and heal. So I'm gonna leave it right there, and um, Aquarius, I do hope you find the healing that you so, so need, and thank you so much for joining me today. I send you off with many blessings, love and light. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, I do have openings available. Please check below in the description. I have a link to my website and scheduling app. Both will take you to my private readings um, booking area. So. Hope that does find you well and take good care of yourselves. Bye.